Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River, North Dakota. As you can see, we are not in the Combine. Uh, the Combine is currently way over there uh, with a just about full grain tank. And we have three full trucks. So uh, I did Combine off camera until I got all three of our trucks full. And then I got uh, the Combine mostly filled up so we're gonna go ahead and start off today by dumping all three of our trucks and then kind of placing them in better spots around the field to uh, assist us with unloading a little better um, been talking with one of our neighbors here um, to the east of us Whoa, and uh, he said that they do have an old uh, Vermeer rake sitting back in uh, the weeds. He said it probably needs a good greasing and tires might need some air. Um, he said he'd take care of that for us, but he did say that we could use it and uh, along with his baler. He said he didn't have a free tractor, which is okay. Um, our John Deere will handle all of that pretty well. So, not too worried about that. Oh boy, why are we not dumping anymore? Are we just out of the trigger or what? Yeah. Um. So, not worried about, uh, oh boy, I have to pull this auger back just a bit. Um, but yeah, he did say that we could use that, so, and then, uh, Oh, I know why. Tractor's not running. There we go. Completely spaced that. But, uh, he did also mention that he's got a grain bagger and bag unloader. Uh, he said if we don't want to sell off a bunch of our grain, uh, now that uh, all we got to do is just buy bags and uh, we can use that so we might uh, look into that and then he said just to let him know whenever we want to um, use the unloader and we can have at it so that's pretty awesome um, He's not charging us anything either for using any of his equipment. So that's uh, a big help. And then our uh, neighbor here right to the south said that we can use his bale wagon again. Or bale stacker. Whatever you want to call it. His bale trailer. Um... And he's only going to charge us 500 bucks. So, that's also going to be a huge help for us. So, we are uh, going to look into picking that stuff up here later on. Um. That'll be when we're done combining, though. We're going to focus on getting everything cut. Aside from the uh, bagger that we might need during harvest, but everything else we'll, uh, we're going to pick up later on. Which he said was no big deal. He's not, you know, it's not in his way or anything like that. So he said, no rush. Whenever we need it, just come grab it. Um, he said it's just sitting 
He said he'll have it sitting in the yard out in the open for us, so. That'll be a uh, big help. come all the way down we're a little messed up for our trigger it's the only downside to using uh, these straight trucks here is they oftentimes uh, often more often than not the triggers don't like to cooperate there we go So this one we're going to park up on the north end of this field. Hopefully we'll make a decent amount of bales off of uh, this here straw. The extra money will most certainly help us. see if we can't get this field finished or very close to it in this episode if we don't get it done then uh, off camera I'll finish it and get headlands done on our other field of beans and then we'll have to uh, switch headers get that all done up here oh boy it's almost half full already we might have to use this beggar for uh, beans even we're gonna go ahead and kick that fan on there for a little while and uh, we're gonna go ahead and shut our oats fan off because that one's been running for a while and they're dried down enough so unloading this truck perfect so we have dumped in let's see here 1846 bushels already and we can hold 2837, almost 2838. So, yeah, we might need the bagger. I hate to waste money on a bag though for not a lot of product. So we'll see, I guess, where we're at when uh, we fill the bin. And uh, we'll just have to go from there. Uh, let's see, this truck we're going to put back down on this end. So we got a truck on either end that we can dump in. 
And then we'll run down here and we'll get the combine fired back up, get it unloaded, and we'll uh, hit it again. Let's fire up the combine. We're getting down there though on this field, thankfully. All right, we'll fire up the head. Oops, wrong button. There we go. And back to cutting. So you guys will have to let me know down in the comments what your uh, thoughts are on the series so far. If you guys are liking it. I'm having fun making it so far. Um, it'll be nice to see where we can get this farm. Um, I mean, basically starting from nothing. We had to buy the farm. We had to buy the fields. We had to buy the machines. And that took pretty much a million bucks just to get going, plus another quarter of a million in operating loan just to have money for our inputs, our seed, our fertilizer, our chemical, all of that. Um, I mean, thankfully we've got some pretty good neighbors that are willing to uh, kind of help us out with some stuff um, here and there so that's also helping um, I mean that's that's a big big help for us so hopefully uh, we can manage everything. So, so far, so good. We're doing pretty good with everything at this point. Hopefully, though, we can get a hired hand in here um, and kind of help with some things. Uh, that would be a huge help, but we are managing pretty well, uh, I do got to say. So, I can't complain there. It's uh, not easy, but we are making the most of it, and we are making it work, so... I guess uh, got to be thankful for that and thankful that uh, things are turning out pretty well for this year. I mean, we've been doing pretty good on yields. We haven't had any major breakdowns, knock on wood. Um, so there is that.
think we'll be able to get this field knocked out yet today. So if we can manage to finish this one, I'll get uh, headlands on the next one finished off camera. Or done off camera, I should say. So that way we can uh, just jump right into it next episode. and uh, dump on this truck down here. And if we do uh, jump up here, take a look at our yield mapping. We are doing pretty well, and we can actually clear yield maps on uh, those two fields there. But uh, yeah, so far so good, which is uh, nice to see. A lot of green. I mean, it might be the light green, but still, uh, still some green, so that's nice. As long as uh, things keep up the way that they are going, we should have a pretty profitable first year. And that's that's the hope. Um, we want to try and build ourselves up as quick as we can. So it might take a couple of years, but we will get there. Hopefully I can uh, get enough video put out to get us through our first year and hopefully through our second uh, before I start harvest in real life, but that's not looking too promising. Our winter wheat is uh, very quickly changing to a nice uh, golden color, so... Uh, harvest is definitely coming around the corner very quickly for us so definitely uh, definitely can't promise of just how long the videos are gonna keep coming my goal is to get enough videos for the month of July recorded at least after that it might be a while at least probably a month cuz uh, we'll be hard at harvest and uh, so but on the bright side, uh, once we finish combining our winter wheat and spring wheat, uh, we will kind of have a little bit of a break in between uh, that and soybeans. So, or well, I should say in between that and planting winter wheat. So might be able to get uh, at least a few weeks of video out but nothing is promised from the time that we start well I'll say this no videos are promised from the end of July until like Thanksgiving uh, or later so um, I am hoping sometime this fall to pick up a GoPro and uh, start getting some real farming videos out for you guys uh, when I can, of course. I 
wasn't sure if we uh, got it all or not there. So, I think what we're going to do, uh, probably have a little short a little bit shorter of a video again today but uh, just for the sake of trying to speed things up um, I'm gonna do some combining off camera I'll get uh, everything moved over to our next field uh, or our last field of soybeans and uh, I'll get the headlands done and uh, that way we can kind of keep progressing through things because I mean with combining it's kind of repetitive so I do kind of want to try and help speed up the process by doing a fair amount off camera so um, yeah, that is kind of going to be my plan, so that'll be it for today, folks. Thank you all for tuning in, and uh, hope to catch you all in the next video.